Hello everyone, our next strategy is short triangle strategy. This strategy is executed by selling one call option of higher strike price and selling one put option of lower strike price. This strategy makes profit when market remains stagnant with little change in price and when the underlying stock is in sideways movement or have a parallel channel range. The maximum gain is the net premium received that we get by selling the call and put options and the maximum loss can be unlimited as market moves in either direction. So a stop loss should be employed at the levels slightly above the resistance level or slightly below the support level. Suppose ABC stock is trading at $55 and it is trading in a range having resistance level of $65 and support level of $45. So you execute a short triangle strategy by selling a January 65 call for $1 and a January 45 put for $1. If the lot size is 100, the net credit received to enter the trade is $200 which is also your maximum profit. If on expiration date, stock rallies above 65 say at $68 the 45 put will expire worthless but the January call expires in the money and has an intrinsic value of $300. Subtracting the initial credit of $200 your loss will be $100 and if the stock falls below 45 say to $42 the sold call will expire worthless but the January sold put expires in the money having value of $300. Subtracting the initial credit of $200, the maximum loss is $100. But if on expiry, the stock is trading in between the level 65 and 45, you will keep the entire initial credit of $200 taken to enter the trade as your profit. If we employ a stop loss above the resistance level or below the support level, we can make the strategy less risky and definitely make profit. Let's analyze the chart now. This is the daily chart of IFCI and as we can see the chart is moving in a range in a sideways movement and the range is between 35 and 20 rupees. Let me zoom in the chart and see the levels. You see currently the stock is trading at 29.10 rupees. The resistance level is 35 rupees and the support level is 20 rupees 19.97 that is 20 rupees so we can sell a january 35 call here and also we can sell a january 20 put here to execute our strategy let's see the prices of the option this is ifci january 35 call and this is ifci january 20 put we are selling call and put so we will see bid price the price of 35 call is 0.35 and the price of 20 put is 0.05. So the net premium received in this trade is 0.35 plus 0.05 is equal to 0.40. If we see the lot size, the lot quantity is 22,000. So we will multiply the prices by 22,000. By multiplying the spread that is 0 0.40 to 22,000, we will get our maximum profit in this trade can be 8800 that is approximately 9000 rupees if on expiration date stock closes between these two lines this uh, resistance and support line if stock closes in between this range our maximum profit will be 9000 rupees and if on expiry stock is above the resistance line or this support line we could incur a loss so we should employ a stick stop loss at 35 level or 20 level so that we can minimize our risk but as the stock is moving in this range since 2015 so we are expecting to close the prices in between this range thanks for watching the lecture see you in the next strategy